Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just filmed a really quick get ready with me. I'm about to go out dancing with all my girlfriends for her 21st birthday. I am not 21, so I will not be celebrating with her, but I can still dance, so it should be fun. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Alrighty, so I have already applied all of my foundation routine. I just filmed my updated foundation routine, and that should be up and link down below, so if you guys want to see that, then just click down below. And I've also already gone through and applied this stuff all over my body. It's just the Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream, and it just adds like a little bit of extra bronze and some shimmer, which makes my skin look really glowy, and it looks really good in flashback photography. So now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face, which is like my eyes. I'm wearing this, if you guys can see it, and it's got like little purple flowers on it, so I thought I would do a purple smoky eye because that's always fun. Something along the lines of that at least. Um, I'm probably going to use this. It's like a liquid purple eyeshadow. I don't even know. And then like smoke it out with some brown, so just kind of use that as like a halo effect. So if you guys want to see how I do it, then just keep watching. So first I'm just going to go in with my, this is my favorite palette, which is... <laughs> This is my favorite palette because the blending shades are just so good in it. I am going to be using this one from Carly Bible though too because it has a bit more of like purple shades. So I'm going to be using those as well. But first, I'm going to go in with those two and start making my crease. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the other palette and I'm going to use this purple... <laughs> this purpley shade and put that in my crease. Okay, and then with that same brush, I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the darkest purple, which is that one, and a really little like defining little crease brush and just pop that on the outer portion of my eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take this dark purple color and smear it all over my eyelid. Okay, so there's the purple. I'm also going to put it on my lower lash line and blend it in. My outer crease is looking questionable. I'm gonna go in and set it with this purple from, gosh, this palette's so old. It's like the first makeup palette I ever got. It's from Too Faced, though. I'm not really sure how old it is. Now, I'm gonna go in with, in that same palette. I'm like over, all over the place with palettes, but I'm gonna use this one. It's like a really, really dark purple with like sparkly flecks in it. I'm gonna use that to darken this up. Just a bit more. Wait, I forgot highlight. <laughs> For highlight, I'm just gonna go in with these shades up here. I just mix all three of them and I'm gonna pop that on the brow bone and in the inner corner. Now I'm gonna take this really sparkly black eyeliner from e.l.f. and put it in my waterline. And then I'm just gonna do a thick line, like thick smudgy line on my lash. Whew. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that with that sparkly purple dark shadow. I'm just gonna go in with my lash sensation from Maybelline. So eyes are done, I think they look pretty cool. Makes my green eye stand out. So now I'm gonna do my lips. Not super exciting. I'm gonna keep them pretty basic because the eyes are so smoky. Um, I need a lip liner. So I'm just gonna lip line my lips with this lip liner. So 
I'm going to go in with this shade. It looks like it's going to be really dark purple, but it's just a berry tint from e.l.f. Then I'm just going to put a little gloss over top. This one does not exist anymore. Sorry about that, but it's my total fave. So I'm just going to put that on over top. I'll try to find a link to something similar below. Okay, so now I'm going to go put my outfit on and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with my hair and how I'm going to accessorize. You guys, I'm a mess for this hair, so I've decided I'm going to do a low ponytail instead because I think it looks super sleek and <sighs> I have to rethink the way that I'm going to do it. So basically, I'm going to put the big weft in because I need more hair. <laughs> Then just those two little tiny strands. And then I'm going to put the other ones surrounding it. And then I'm going to use a scrunchie to cover up the clips. Because life. Okay, so I've got my comb and my hairspray. I'm going to tease. I'm running late now, so I'm going to spray some hairspray. Ooh, that's nice and wet. And then tease. taking all my hair back in a ponytail really tight making sure I'm covering all of that extension okay so now I'm basically just gonna take <laughs> another one and put it on top or like around the whole ponytail just to cover these little hairs that are on top okay and then I'm just gonna take a big scrunchie but I'll show you guys what it looks like now and I'm just going to put a giant scrunchie in it to cover it up. And then I'm done. So I'm going to go find it and I'll be back. <laughs> this was actually a little bit different. I changed it, but it's a really cute cropped romper. I'll show you the before and after right here. I just altered it, but yeah, I really like this look. I think it's super fun, super different. I'm going to wear some black heels, go get my dance on, and I hope you guys liked it. Alright you guys, so that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Bye!